It's going to be me who will defeat you for that belt. And if you didn't watch my last match, when I jump in the air and land on you, all 300 pounds of me, your hair, you're gonna be Alice in Wonderland, bitch. Did you hear that? Yeah. Take it from me, bitch. Did you hear that? Yeah, how about you? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pity you. Here you go. Oh, you know, um, speaking of Wonderland, um, can we get back to reality and stop with these delusions? Shut up! Shut up. Honestly, let's stop with these thinking that queer wrestlers, besides me, have any chance. You said you're gonna change the industry for queer wrestling? I already did that with this belt. <laughs> We talked about the rainbow, um, by the looks of it, a color's missing. You see, the original pride flag had a pink stripe. And you know why they took it out? Why? Because it was too expensive of a pattern. And now years later, it's funny how queer history is repeating itself because the queen of the ring who's wearing pink is just too affordable for you to touch. Yes. No one in my community can touch me. Jesus. I am the untouchable. It costs more than your rent, and I know that because you're from Providence. Well, uh, oh. I mean, I'm not a goldfish. I have a memory longer than 15 seconds. Weren't you a fan of mine all those years ago? I was a fan of Rick. I don't know what that is. What is this? <laughs> this is your boss. And I'm telling you right now, you can join these people. Go back to be a fan. Because that total disrespect to me, this pink belt, and this pink queen, it earned you a pink slip. Billy this you're fired! Why? I was once upon a time your idol. You easily forgot that I'm your boss. That was such a stupid, stupid action. You're fired! Shit! In my promotion? Upon my people? In my queendom? Is out of ads. Is as a fan. What? No. What? Oh, oh, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That wasn't a meet and greet bracelet you threw at me. Uh, what? Wrestlers only in the ring. Please get out of the ring, fan. I didn't know that really set him off. <laughs>
guys, honestly, I'm having an amazing time. It's great to be able to see so many queer people out in the daylight. Um, I'm used to being in a night. No, no, I'm serious. I'm used to being in a nightclub. So you said like not being able to see faces, not being able to take beads of sweat, not that face. Because uh, really hot. Um, but this event, but I actually, a uh, fun fact, because I like to be real, uh, let's be honest, I was asked to do this yesterday. And 